I'm Daniel Gonzalez and I'm an immigration reporter at the Arizona Republic. Today we're going to be calling the Voice Hotline. This was a hotline that was created by President Trump's administration to provide information to victims of crimes committed by immigrants and also any services that might be available to them. So let's go ahead and give the Voice Hotline a call. The number is 855-48-VOICE. Yes, my name is Daniel Gonzalez. And how can I help you? Hi, um, I'm a reporter at the Arizona Republic and I'm writing a story about the voice hotline. And I was wondering if you could walk me through what would happen next if somebody was calling about their case. Uh, what kind of information would you ask for? Um, so your question is what information would I ask for? Yes, I was wondering if you could walk me through the process. What would happen next if I was an actual caller? Okay, so you can't answer any questions for me? No. Okay. Well, I appreciate that very much. Okay. You're welcome, sir. Have a good day. Thank you. You too. So it's not surprising that they didn't ask, answer any questions. ICE officials are usually trained to refer reporters to the Public Affairs Office to have their questions answered. But the reason we called the hotline is because you can see explicitly it was stated that this is not a crime hotline. But the Arizona Republic obtained through a Freedom of Information Act some of the call logs for hundreds of people who called the voice hotline. And those call logs show that many of the people who are calling the tip line are call calling to either report crimes or to turn in people they suspect of being in the country illegally. This has also been controversial because um, ICE released a lot of the private information that callers have been sharing with the hotline on their own website in violation of their privacy guidelines and also of, of privacy laws. And they also shared some of this information with the Arizona Republic inadvertently. So if you want to read more about what happened, uh, you can go to azcentral.com. <laughs>